Bitcoin, are we close? Are we close to the bottom? Does Bitcoin have more room to go down from here? And this is a discussion that I love to have. I love to talk about this in all my videos. And so I thought it was time to do a specific Bitcoin video because we all know this. Here's the thing. Even if you don't own Bitcoin, Bitcoin drives the entire market, right? It makes up north of 40 plus percent of the entire market capitalization. So we're going to talk about, are we close to the bottom here on Bitcoin? If you're wondering where I'm at, I have become a road warrior. I'm on the East Coast for business meetings. I was in Delaware, Maryland last weekend for my son for some lacrosse tournaments. Going to be in Florida this weekend for some more lacrosse tournaments for my son. Man, my kid must love lacrosse. <laughs> so that's what I got for you. So let's get, let's get, let's get into this. Bitcoin, are we are we close? Are we close to the bottom? Right now, Bitcoin is trading at 16.6. It's 24-hour low is 16.618, all the way up to 17.051. Here's what I would say. I think that Bitcoin has some more room to move down. I think my number is probably between 12 and 14. I've seen consensus calls for, say, maybe 10. I don't know if we're going to go that low, okay? But here's what it really comes down to is that we still have this contagion scenario playing out. You know, BlockFi is looking like they're going to, you know, they're going to uh, file for bankruptcy because of the FTX fallout. Coinbase has come out and said FTX's collapse will likely lead to an extended crypto winner. Two words we all hate, right? Crypto winner. Has crypto taken an irreparable, I can never say that word very well, blow to its reputation? FTX collapse leaves investors jittery over crypto contagion. The pervasive theme here is fear. The pervasive theme here is uncertainty. And that is truly where we're at right here, right now. The, the broader landscape of inflation and, and the fallout and effects of inflation is improving. We, you know, we're seeing better numbers there. We're still high. You know, we're still 7.7%. We've gotten below eight now. And it looks like the, the measures are working. We've had a painful year for 2022 with Obviously, all of the, you know, the situations that played out this year with with, uh, you know, with macro inflation, you know, three errors, capital, Voyager, Celsius, et cetera. Now, FTX, it is this fear that is going to drive Bitcoin, I think, a little bit, a little bit further down. And if we get any type of a major crypto exchange, a centralized exchange that goes down or, or, or becomes even more insolvent or, or does become insolvent, that will send people, you know, running. Bitcoin has been leaving exchanges pretty at, at, at uh, a all time high level, which is fine. I get that. Right. We've even had exchanges like Kraken and Binance come out and said, hey, look, buy and trade and sell an on ramp and off ramp here. But keep your you know Bitcoin in, in a decentralized wallet, you know, like, you know, like like MetaMask or even better, uh, a, you know, a ledger. Right. I think the bottom is close. 14,000, 12, maybe. And that, well, Austin, that sounds like it. Well, no, we're at 16 now. It's not that much further to go, right? What do you think? Drop in the comments below. I think we got some more rough waters to go. I do, but I don't think it's all catastrophic. And if you have this longer term view, it's not a bad thing. I'm going to be buying Bitcoin if we go down to those levels. I can sure tell you that. That's what I got for you. Thanks for your time. I'll see you. Have a good one. Go make some money. Bye.